Icebreaker speech. Four to six minutes. Frank Scott, take it away. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, I, good afternoon. I was born in 1974, and 40 is significant for many reasons. 40 is a nice round number. 40 is four decades. 40 is uh, the midpoint for our lives. Usually you're born, you live 40 years, and hopefully you live to at least 40 more, 80 plus. Uh, 40 is also the midpoint of many of our professional careers. Uh, we start out uh, 20s, uh, early 20s after school, and we get to work for 15 years, and hopefully we work for at most another 15 years, and we retire. Um, <laughs> And usually at this midpoint junction, a lot of people tend to do some self-evaluation and they ask themselves, you know, where am I in my career, where am I in my life? And uh, it has a term, a midlife crisis. <laughs> mm. I can assure you, this is not one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I found myself asking the same question, you know, where am I in my career? And, and recently I asked myself, uh, why am I not where I should be professionally? So why am I not professionally where I should be? I am currently a, uh, an individual contributor, first American, and I expect it to be more involved in the company's decision-making processes, but I am not. Um, I was born in 1974. In 1975, the Vietnam War ended. Uh, my father, who was a pilot in the South Vietnamese Army, um, had a helicopter, stopped by my grandma's house to pick up my mom to escape from Vietnam to take us to the United States. Not on the helicopter, but <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> my mom was pregnant with my brother at the time, so she couldn't travel, so we, would, we had to remain with my mom. Um, my father was soon arrested by the new regime wow. and was sent to re-education camp for 10 years, <laughs> during which they re-educated him with lots of uh, hunger, uh, lots of uh, hard labor, and lots of just basic human rights abuses. Uh, as soon as he got out, and, and I didn't know my dad from when I was born until I was 10. Mm -hmm. uh, so as soon as he got out, we escaped from Vietnam by boat uh, to the United States. And um, after arriving in the United States, uh, we settled in a small immigrant working class community. And uh, within, within the area, uh, like most immigrants, my, both my parents had to work. Uh, so the children were mostly left to their own devices. Uh, they're just a bunch of immigrants. And uh, <laughs> so after that, um, I wasn't without I wasn't without exception. I was hanging out with them, hanging out with some questionable characters. Uh, upon seeing this, my parents decided to send me off to a private school, a small, all boys, Catholic boarding school in which I stayed at school and lived there all week. Uh, it was in this environment that I was able to focus my attention on my education. I, I attended UCI, two majors. One was Kunaji. Law and Society, and then the other one was Economics. Um, at Irvine, I decided to pursue information technology as my career. I got a job at a small software company, and uh, soon after that, I came to Ingram Micro. I was working at the 1610 building inside the data center. I don't know if it's still there now, but that was about 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> So at Ingram, I decided to pursue an MBA. So I went and received an MBA from uh, USC, Marshall School of Business in e-commerce and high technology consulting. Uh, but I was one class short, so I can't claim that. Uh, it's just a general MBA. Um, so I don't know if you've seen a pattern emerging that I have quite a few interests, varying from you know, real estate to, I'm a real estate broker, uh, to information technology, to law and society, to e-commerce, 
And <laughs> uh, I, I neglected to mention that at Irvine, I left school for two quarters and joined the United States, enlisted in the United States Marine oh. Corps. <laughs> and I was discharged six months after that. That's a long story. <laughs> you know, so, um, so, I'm also a PMP. I do retail. My, my wife and I own several boutiques. Uh, we've, and I realized that, recently I read a book by Malcolm Gladwell, Outliers, in which he argues that to be a master at something, you need about 10,000 hours. And that's about five years of full-time work dedication at something. And I now realize that I am exactly where I should be. I am not focused in my career, in my professional development, and I'm exactly where I should be. Um, I, uh, I have this quote from Leonardo DiCaprio that I'd like to share with you. Said, and so you have to understand, getting your foot in the door is like winning the lottery. It's literally, literally like winning the lottery <coughs> when you have to get a career. And I've always felt, okay, now I've gotten a shot, and if I'm lucky to have gotten a shot, and if I don't do this to the best of my ability, if I don't work my ass off and make a life of it, I squandered this incredible uh, golden opportunity, and that has always been what has propelled me. So, I am exactly where I should be. I'm not sure the source of this quote, but the answer is, wherever you are, there you are. <laughs> I love and that I one. think I found the answer to my question. Thanks. <laughs> and, and, and in the spirit of, of full disclosure, my sharing with you, my very interest, I have just started a First American Postmaster Club. Oh. Mm. And so all of you are welcome to attend as guests anytime. Okay, thank okay. you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you have thought of